Hi YouTube. Um, as a lot of you will know, a lot of you that have been following my work, when I've been working on uh, this Lady Gaga video, most recently, um, what I just want to mention to you quickly is how I've been saying it depicts the birth, rise, coming of the Antichrist, which also involves World War Three. I'll quickly point out to you here, remember we had the the cross is my anchor written backwards here. Well the cross is my anchor, I believe it's in Hebrew somewhere, it talks about God's promise and it's basically referring to strong faith in the cross and in Christ. Believing in him, having faith in him, the rock, the anchor, the steadfast. Now, because this is written backwards, it basically, it means Antichrist. It means everything opposite to what I just said. Here, we have the nucleus. The nucleus, as above, so below. The mixing of angelic blood and human blood. The mixing of heaven and earth, which never should have happened which is why the the days of Noah which is why the flood wiped out most of the Nephilim it was crazy times on earth just like we're seeing unfold now I'm not sure of anyone in their right mind that could actually deny that fact now here we have Poseidon again the god with small g of the sea of storms of earthquakes. Also we have um, the shape of a baby here with his head pointing down and it has the cross and anchor on its head which basically means it depicts this child as an antichrist. Now I'll be talking about this more in my next video that I'm trying to put together is without a doubt is the hardest most difficult video to this date and time that I have had to get my head around and that I'm going to try and put together um, it's going to be difficult but I'm going to try my best anyhow so a lot of you who have been following my work will remember me mentioning the subliminals that have been appearing and the key words uh, Gaia, Mother Earth, portals, resurrection, the moon, fire, thermal or heat. Well the fire, thermal, heat also go hand in hand with the resurrection which I'll come to in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to have to cover the whole Gaga video and also a lot more. But what I want to bring to your attention first is um, this whole scenario with Comet Lovejoy. It's, it's, it's turned out to be a very symbolic event, in my opinion. Um, Comet Lovejoy survives. Incredibly, Sun Grazing Comet Lovejoy has survived its close encounter with the Sun. Lovejoy flew only 140,000 kilometers over the stellar surface during the early hours of December 16th. Experts expected the icy Sun Diver to be destroyed. Instead, NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory caught the comet emerging from the perihelion, closest approach, apparently intact. Now, I'm not going to read all the way through this, okay? But what I do want to mention to you is this wording that they've included down here. I'll add the link for the um, for this uh, actual report for you to read in total if you want. But it's what they've put here. Um, I have to thank Kanyart for this. Actually, I've, I watched his video this morning and. 
he picked up on this, so I, I won't take credit for what he found. Thank you, Kanyart, for that. Uh, God bless you. There could be more surprises in store for this unpredictable comet. Stay tuned for updates. Now, what a strange thing to put up here. So, I decided to have a bit of a look and see what I could find. And without, you know, there you go, you know, it, without doubt this is a symbolic event which relates to what I've been working on. Uh, the whole Lady Gaga video and scripture. Okay, so the newly discovered comet Lovejoy defied the odds Thursday, enduring an apparent suicidal journey very near the sun's simmering surface. The sun grazer Lovejoy passed from one side of the sun to the other through the hellishly hot corona coming as close as 87,000 miles to the surface, so, uh, space.com reports. Temperature in the corona can be up to 2 million degrees Fahrenheit. While the comet survived, spaceweb.com reports, Lovejoy seems to have lost its tail in transit. Lovejoy, a 660-foot mass of icy rock, was first spotted on December, December the 2nd by amateur astronomer Terry Lovejoy of Australia. NASA says the comet was able to remain intact due to its large size. Alright, I'm going to skip on a little bit rather than read all of this. Uh, where's, where's this bit I want? Alright, there it is. Okay, you check this out, guys. Once it became apparent Lovejoy had survived, NASA dubbed Lovejoy a phoenix because it re-emerged similar to the phoenix of mythology. So, here we have the phoenix, the bird that resurrects through fire. The Lady Gaga video, Pontiac Firebird, and everything else I've been talking about, the resurrection. So, here we go again. If I'm right, the, the phoenix is a mytholog mythological bird which derives from Sun City, if I'm correct. And it depicts fire, then rebirth. So we've had the symbolic event happening up in the space, heavens, whatever you want to call it. So, what's the physical event going to be? Because we all know that World War Three is a planned event, and it's been planned to bring forth the Antichrist, who will bring false peace, and bring in the deception, bring in the new age deception of new age religion so I'll quickly point out to you on this here we have the six kings of the earth or the six kingdom kingdoms five have fallen one is yet to fall we have the what depicts the religions above them what depicts the idols above that um, what you're basically looking at here, I'm not going to go into it too far because there's a lot to go into and I'll just give you a quick heads up on what it means. Keep in mind this is a 1945 painting. Basically what you're looking at here is World War Three and the birth, rise, coming of the Antichrist. Um, on the right hand side you basically have America, Germany, Israel, France, Greece. On the left hand side you've got China, Russia, India, um, Brazil. Which, as you all know, the brick, the brick, um, Brazil, Russia, India, China, which are a coalition. Okay, so what this is, it's World War Three and the birth and rise and coming of the Antichrist. 
you've got the flags down here you can see under the hammer you've got the Soviet USSR flag you've got Japan flag again you've got um, the, Inc the idols that are worshipped, the Incas, the Mayans you notice here we've got the as above so below symbology going on which represents the mixing of angelic blood the Nephilim we've got the one, two, three, four, five fingers one thumb, six f fingers in total well five five fingers, one thumb um, there's a lot to cover on this so it's basically a heads up on the comet Lovejoy being dubbed a phoenix resurrection through fire um, I'm not sure how relevant this is I'm just going to put it in for evaluation purposes and you let me know what you think of this It's times like this I wish I were a religious man. It's all over, people! We don't have a prayer! Ah! They blew up the bridge! We're doomed! It's times like this I wish I were a religious man. It's all over, people! We don't have a prayer! Ah! Sorry about the the computer was almost crashing there, um, but this is actually from the Simpsons episode called um, Bart's Comet. So um, I'm not sure. You know, it's just you know we can't trust Simpsons. They're they're totally infiltrated and with a sim uh, symbolism and corrupting the mind of the young. So that's it for now guys, God bless you.